Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA results, predicted phenotype traits and GED match results of an Iron Age Daunian woman from um, Italy. This is what she is predicted to look like. With my Nasha coat, she is predicted to have brown color eyes, Greek shaped nose and black hair. Uh, with her ID 2023, she is predicted to have curly or wavy hair. And with snipper free, she is predicted to have black hair color, brown eye color and white skin color. She was most likely heterozygous for blue eye haplotype 1, no blue eye haplotype 2, or BH3 or BH4. Uh, well, BH4 is undetermined, but probably not because it's pretty rare. And um, <laughs> in SLC45A2, she's, uh, she's got some genotypes for darker non European skin tone, uh, whereas in SLC24A5 and ASIP, she's got genotypes for lighter Eurasian skin tone. She has got uh, the European no-go learner mutation, which basically decreases the amount of D2 dopamine receptors in the brain and uh, decreases the risk of schizophrenia, uh, increases the odds of person being a no-go learner. Uh, she's got no alcoholism variation in DRD2, so she's got pretty much typical normal genotype here in this variation of DRD2. Um, typical normal genotype in this variation of DRD2 as well, no higher nicotine dependence uh, proneness. And she's got the warrior genotype in comps valmet variation, which means uh, quicker dopamine reuptake, less dopamine in the system, uh, problems with motivation, however, adra advantages in stress resiliency. Uh, she's got this very interesting genotype, pretty rare genotype to have, uh, which uh, it reduces the efficiency in processing folic acid. This is another genotype in the MTHFR gene, which also uh, reduces the efficiency in processing folic acid, pretty much more of the same as what we've seen previously. Uh, with the previous variation, she does not have derived EDAR, uh, no East Asian facial traits, no shovel-shaped incisors, epicanthic folds, none of those East Asian facial traits. Um, now, moving on, she's got no sociopath gene in this variation of OXTR. This is the this is the important variation, right? There's two variations that I typically look for. This is the important one. But now let's get into the unimportant one here. She actually does have the sociopath gene, but as I've said before, uh, this variation is has a little bit less research back in it, so I'm not going to go ahead and say that she's sociopathic. She does not have the European lactose persistence mutation. Uh, no surprises, because it's a very like central and northern European, and she's a Mediterranean individual. Um, does not have the colorblindness mutation, so... You know, probably not colorblind. Also, women, uh, women tend to not be colorblind. Now let's look at her Eurogene's K13 results. Look at the exotic stuff she's scoring. She's scoring 7.5% West Asian, 18% East Mediterranean. There's some Red Sea too. So I'm thinking that most of her exotic or Oriental ancestry is actually coming from people like Natufians or maybe Anatolian Neolithic farmers. Uh, some kind of some kind of uh, farmer farmer or Western. Western um, ancestry, not not Caucasus hunter gatherers, not Iranian Neolithic farmers. She's getting modeled as a mixture of Southwest French plus Greek, and with G25 we see more of the same. She's getting modeled also as a mixture of uh, Spanish plus Sardinian, basically the same as Southwest French plus Greek, uh, a mixture of Southwest European plus Southeast European or Greek. This is her result with MDLPK11, and here we can really see that she's got some Caucasus admixture, Caucasus hunter-gatherer admixture. Maybe um, not as much as like modern Northern Europeans even, but she's got 21%, 21.5% Caucasus, and because of that she's getting modeled as a mixture of LBK plus basically Yamna. So she does have Yamna ancestry. This is an Indo-European individual for sure. Uh, with Harappa World, this is what she scores. She's scoring 28% Northeast European. Once again, uh, this is an Indo-European individual. She's got both Eastern hunter-gatherer and Caucasus hunter-gatherer ancestry. Uh, she's closest to Italians here with Harappa World. And uh, with the Oracle, she's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Italian plus Puerto Rican or Italian plus Dominican or African-American. Very interesting. This is probably because of the uh, little bit of Sub-Saharan African that she scores. This is what she's scoring with Pun DNA LK10. Very interesting result. There is only 22.5% CHG. This is really not a lot. Like I scored 26 um, and she's scoring and I scored 28 on my original file. She's only scoring 22.5% CHG. That's not a lot of Caucasus admixture. Uh, but you have to keep in mind that South Southern Europeans don't actually have as much Caucasus admixture as do Northern Europeans because we got more Yamne. We got more Yamne, so we got more Caucasus together with Yamne. Uh, the only exceptions to this are Greeks, who have a lot of Caucasus admixture. 
uh, but in in their case it is not all not all of it is from um, in the European some of it is from actual Kokosus admixture uh, she's getting more of the mixture of Stuttgart plus Yamne so she does have Yamne she does have Yamne admixture you can see around 40% Yamne plus 60% uh, European farmer this is what she scores with uh, ancient Eurasia K6 very interesting result interesting that she's scoring 2% East Asian here uh, not scoring any sub-Saharan, which is uh, going in contrast to what her result with Harappa World was, because with Harappa World, she actually was in the Oracle, she even received sub-Saharan African there. Uh, according to this calculator's Oracle, she's closest to Bulgarians and Romanians and Albanians, and she's actually getting more as a mixture of Albanian plus Finnish, so she's more Northern than Albanians, but she is more Southern than Romanians, it seems like. Uh, this is what she scores with Kidrosia K3, mostly West Eurasian. Uh, the there is a little bit of a trace of Sub-Saharan African and East Eurasian, but it's mostly very, uh, very West Eurasian, very Caucasoid result here. So thanks for watching my video until the end. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And you can download this sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description.